Hi everyone, my name's Dave from the Vlista support team and today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up a quick protocol with a dual channel sensor. Quick protocol is the fastest way of setting up a neurofeedback uh, session within the Vlista software. Um, we're going to be setting up a session so that you can train your uh, alpha waves by listening to music. I'll explain a bit more on how we're going to do this later. So let's get started. First you need to configure your sensor. So go to configuration, then sensor configuration, and this window will pop up. You need to make sure that socket 1 and 5 has EEG selected for the selector sensor. The rest should not be active. And then with the samples per second, it should be 256 SPS. Right. Once that's done, click OK. So now we're going to start setting up the screen. Go to Instruments, then Time Series, and you'll see this window pop up. I want you to select Sensor 1 and then the Raw Data option on the right hand side. It should be at the top. Click Continue, and you'll see this graph come up on, on screen. Um, I recommend that you place it towards the top um, because there's going to be two of them and there's going to be a few other things coming onto the screen as well. Right. Now do the same process for the second sensor uh, and place it just below. The reason for these graphs is to check the signal quality from the electrodes. Um, I'll show you an example of what good signal is later on in the tutorial. Next, go to accessories, go down to quick protocol and then this window with the saying channel will open up go to sensor 1 EEG and press OK. You'll have this little window saying quick protocol come up. You can resize it and place it in the left hand corner. Uh, this is actually where we configure the quick protocol to target your alpha, alpha brainwaves. So go to action, select augment, and then go to band and select alpha. Then, go to Accessories, Multimedia Feedback, and a little window will appear. You can place it wherever you want. Um, click Select. This is where you get to choose the music that you want to listen to during the session. And press Open. Uh, you're now ready to get started. So now press Record, and this little window will come up where you have to select who's doing the session. You can add your name. Uh, by using the little add button at the bottom or you can click on test user but once you've clicked on a name or test user press select and the session will start so you'll see at the at the top in the graphs an example of good signal um, bad signal will be much more volatile it'd be going up and down so you want to be aiming to keep it going along in the center and then you'll see in quick protocol threshold that number going up and down it's pushing is pushing you so that your alpha waves will stay at a certain level and the little red dot or the green to red dot when it turns red it means that your alpha waves have gone below that and you've got to try and push it back up you'll notice when it goes red that the music you're listening to will cut out giving it kind of a jittery effect um, the idea is to keep the music playing when you finish, press stop and a little save window will appear in the top left hand corner. Uh, you can name the session whatever you want. I'm calling it frontal lobe test. And then just when you've done that, press save session. And that is quick protocol done. Uh, if you have any questions, please post a comment below. Uh, other than that, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you want notifications, press the little bell. Uh, thank you for listening, and I'll see you next time.